Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. I am here today to do a little myth busting about reverse sensing. So I took a few figures from the FAA Instrument Knowledge Test Supplement book and this figure 86 from that book and we're just going to look at picture number three and we're going to go over first the rule away from the needle away from the flag and I'm going to turn on my pen here a little bit so I can draw so when we say away from the needle away from the flag I've got another video on YouTube about that I encourage you to watch that but in a nutshell it means that away from the needle means we go somewhere on this half and then away from the flag means we go on this top half so this quadrant would be where we are from the VOR so in light of that looking at this presentation for picture number three we are somewhere to the east of the VOR and slightly northeast so I'm gonna draw it out over here for us but since the needle is almost centered this is the needle this piece that moves back and forth since the needle is almost centered we are basically just slightly to the east northeast of a position line and that would put us on approximately this line of position from the VOR now this is just a VOR presentation in the cockpit it's not a horizontal situation indicator or an HSI. I don't have any information about what way the aircraft is heading. Remember, VORs just give us a line of position. We don't know what way the aircraft's heading based on anything we see on the VOR presentation, unless it's part of an HSI. But in this picture from the FAA, it's not an HSI. Okay, so um, thinking about that rule away from the needle, away from the flag, um, let me erase everything here, away from the needle, away from the flag. And then people say, oh, it's reverse sensing, reverse sensing, because there's a from flag and your instructor might be like, oh, reverse sensing and a from flag. Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm here to say it does still work. It works fine. If you want to go to the line of position that's been dialed in right here. If I look at the top, I can see that we have dialed in, a, looks like the 087 degree radial. Sorry for my writing, 087 approximately. Okay, if I want to fly the 087 degree radial from the VOR um, or to the VOR, I can do that. Now, if I'm flying away, yep, we have a from flag shown. That's typically what we do. But again, you don't have to. The VOR does not do reverse sensing, okay? If I want to get more centered with this needle, and if I were tracking to the VOR, okay, so I'm kind of doing opposite of what your flight instructor might say. I'm flying toward the VOR and I have a from indication. But what way do I need to fly to get the airplane back onto this line I would still need to fly toward the needle, toward the flag. Okay, so toward the needle, toward the flag means that I'm somewhere down in this quadrant that I need to fly more south, okay? And if I take a look, let me erase everything again. If I take a look at where we are, we're probably about here. We're north of that position line and you can see I would need to fly south. Yep, so south to get myself on the position line. That's because my needle is deflected off this side and I have my from flag. So somewhere in this quadrant is where I need to go to get on that line of position. Notice it's nothing opposite happening here. It's not reverse sensing. If you pay attention to what's going on on the OBS presentation and you read the headings and not just think about left, right or some sort of thing, okay? And for a person like me who gets really confused with left, right sometimes, this is maybe bad that I decided to be a pilot and a teacher, but actually maybe it helps because then I think to myself, all right, what way do I need to go directionally? Directionally, using the opposite of the away from the needle, away from the flag rule, in order to go to the needle, to the flag, that puts me more on my line of position. So to the needle would be somewhere in this half, 
to the flag would be somewhere in the bottom half. And that would put me in this area to get myself re intercepted on this selected course. Doesn't matter if I'm going away from the VOR or toward the VOR, it really doesn't matter. Again, I don't have a heading indicator here. I don't know what way I'm going, but I can still use the rule and say, mm, yes, looks like I have to go south to get myself on that line of position. The other thing I did want to point out when we're looking at this without any distance information, say from a DME station or from a GPS, I don't know if I'm here on the line, this closer to the VOR over here. I really have no idea. Okay. Again, the VOR just shows me. Okay. So let's do position. another example for practice. This is from figure 71A, also from the instrument pilot knowledge test supplement book. So I pulled this one up and notice we have, again, our same um, presentation. It is not an HSI, so we can use the looking at what is dialed in at the top of my OBS it looks like about 029. So we'll draw that line of position from the VOR. And then if we use the um, away from the needle, away from the flag, okay, away from the needle puts me on this half and away from the flag puts me up here. So I am somewhere to the north east of the VOR, generally north east, since this needle is almost centered. It's only two degrees off. Okay. So that would put me somewhere like on this line of position. Okay. That's all good. So do we have reverse sensing going on? Again, I'm going to tell you, myth is busted. We don't have reverse sensing. Okay. If I want to go onto my course line with what's currently selected, I would have to go toward the needle. Okay. So what direction would that be to go toward the needle? Well, generally I'm going to have to go to the east. Okay. I'm generally going to have to go to the east because the needle is deflected off this way. Okay. If I want to go toward the VOR, I would actually have to go generally uh, southeast because it would be to the needle. Here's my needle to the flag. So somewhere down here. Okay. Notice that still works. Doesn't matter again, if I'm going away from the VOR or if I'm going toward the VOR. Okay. Even though I have a from flag, if I'm going toward the VOR, I still would have to go to the south east, south, southeast to get on my course line. Um, if I want to go directly to the VOR, I'm going to be going more a little bit like southwest. Okay. So southwest would take me toward the VOR. Okay. So again, reverse sensing does not exist here in this case either. Now, um, so what I want you to do when you're getting confused about this, you got to think about your line of position. You got to think about the headings on the presentation, right? If I want to go toward the VOR, I go to the needle, here's my needle to the flag. Okay. And then I say, oh, okay. That would be going kind of Southwest, South, Southwest direction will take me to the VOR station. Okay. Just don't get confused with looking at the needle and saying, oh, left and right, left and right. Okay. Left and right only works if you put the correct course, not radial necessarily, the correct course into your OBS. Okay. Without doing that, then you will get turned around and you can easily get yourself confused. For example, if you were flying toward the VOR, but using a from flag, then left and right is going to be switched around. But that does not mean that the VOR is reverse sensing. It is not reverse sensing. It's still giving you good information. You just have to read the numbers that are presented on the OBS. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos about instrument flying, how VORs work, and a whole bunch of other great stuff for getting ready for instruments. And we'll see you guys next time.